he shut me down. And I didn't want to shut down because I think the key to a good marriage is communication. So in order to let my husband know how I felt about that whole situation, I told a baby that Santa's not real. <laughs> There's a lot of judgment in that side of the room. <laughs> I did, and I told her it was her father. It had always been her father. And I took the Santa kit out of the closet, and I was like... <laughs> okay, let's address the judgment, right? Let's do it. <laughs> Here is the deal between me and Santa. I'm from India. I don't give a shit. <laughs> okay? And for those of you in this room who are like, well, obviously from India, how could she culturally appreciate Santa Claus? 28 million Indians are Christian. That's five and a half Denmarks glommed together. <laughs> we have Christmas, we have Santa. But let me ask you this, how many of you have met an Indian Santa? <laughs> yes. Let me explain Indian Santa to you, then you will realize it is not a cultural oversight on my part. You will understand why I'm not invested in this man. <laughs> First of all, Indian Santa is never white, but he knows he should be because of all the books and all. So all Indian Santas put powder on their face and go out, and it's warm and they sweat. <laughs> and the powder runs down their face and it goes in their eyes, and sometimes it goes in their mouth. So as a child, you meet Santa on the street corner, and Santa is going, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Christmas, Matt. <laughs> this is not convincing to any child, okay? It is also not fair. Secondly, you know how Santa is supposed to be fat and jolly, yes? Yeah. In India, if you are eating enough to be fat and jolly, you don't take the Santa job. <laughs> so I'm not going as far as to say emaciated. <laughs> but I have met some thin, hungry, hungry Santas in my time. <laughs> when I was eight years old and I had gone to a Christmas carnival in the little town in India where I lived and I had had my first Tutti Frutti ice cream and I was taking it back to my house and my mom and I were walking and there was a Santa there. She said, oh, oh look, bichara, he is so hungry, the Santa, give the ice cream. <laughs> give your ice cream to the Santa. I had to give my fucking Tutti Frutti ice cream to Santa. <laughs> I'm not invested in him. <laughs> And finally, English is the language of elites in India, okay? And Santa is never an elite. So he doesn't know that it must be ho, ho, ho. He thinks, ha, huh, ballpark. So many times Santa has come to me and said, oi, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> like Dracula, okay? <laughs> so I'm not invested. Yeah, and yes, you know what? The baby was a little bit upset, but she will get over it. You guys start out believing in Santa and then end up I hope I have not shocked anyone here today. <laughs> Plus, I have to be honest, it was nice to empty her mind of some bullshit and fill it with math. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's so unfair. Uh, but guess who was devastated? <laughs> yeah, it was my husband. And I said, wait, wait, honey, you said I was playing a game. Let's keep score. You zero, Sindhu, 10 million. <laughs> And then I said to him, you know what? You hurt me on purpose, but I didn't crumble. I didn't, I didn't walk out. I took what you did and I turned it into something very good for this marriage. I turned it into a win. <laughs> I mean, I said that to Crunchy and the Christmas tree because my husband had left. 